Hello, my darlings. Good evening, and welcome to the second season of our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, ATL by Night. Chapter 2, The Moon Reversed. Let's welcome back our vampires. My name is Leon Aror, and I play Tomasina Elena Cuesta. Zachary Vauda, playing Anton Kravopolskov. Hi, my name is Tyler Sutherland, and I'm playing Aaron. Brittany Trambauer-Smith, and I play Melisanda. And I'm your storyteller, Ellie Collins. Now, without further ado, let's sit back and tell a vampire story. When we last saw our coterie, Dot had been recovered and returned to them at the Athenium. The masquerade ball was a complex evening of political games and debauchery culminating in a screaming match between the Bruja Primogen Falcon and Prince Talbot Rourke. During this fight, the Primogen uh, threatened or the prince threatened to throw the Primogen Falcon into cages along with the rest of the Primogen. This revelation provoked Falcon into staking Talbot with one of her wooden hair sticks. The Coterie returned and stashed Talbot's body to figure out their next move. And that was when Hex showed up with Dot in tow. Dot and Falcon have taken a few moments to themselves to talk and the group has changed from their masquerade attire. And now Anton you have finished working your ritual. Yep, yeah, so, so I, I get hungrier. Okay. And I drink the bowl of blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight successes, critical, for blood walk. So I, I'll get the typical that you give me, the Generation Clan, mm-hmm. the Subject Sire, any active blood bonds on the subject, including ones that they have done to other people, and wherever else you feel like telling me. Okay. Um, sire is Patrick Rourke, Talbot's father. Talbot is seventh generation. And he currently has two blood bonds on him. Right. And three that he has on other people. All right. And I, I know the blood bonds, like who did the blood bonds, or just that they are there? That they are there. Okay. So I'll just, yeah, grab my glasses off of the counter for the one. Oh. <clears throat> this is very not good. You all changed. You were taking a while. Right. I'm not going to wear that for the rest of the evening, especially not with what we might have coming. Absolutely not. Sure. What did you find out? Uh, well, first of all, uh, Talbot's father is a son of a bitch that turned his own son. Um, he has he has blood bonded three other people, though I cannot tell who. And uh, our friend was correct. Talbot work is under not one but two blood bombs. Do we know if they're co- Are they cooperative? 
I would assume that they are cooperative, but it is possible not. Blood bonding is very strange. Uh, at bare minimum, whatever. At bare minimum, if they are not done in tandem, then one does not override the other. As in, hmm. he is able to operate in such a way that does not impact his bond to the second person. It is possible that they are cooperative both uh, working together to ensure that Talbot will serve them as opposed to just uh, one person. So the truth is we never really had a prince. We had a dummy. I mean, shock. I I cannot say how long the blood bonds have been active. It is possible that, uh, as Falcon said, at one point we had a prince. But for an indeterminate amount of time, at least for as long as... Olivia has been gone, and the other primogen have been gone. We have had no prince. How do we solve this? How do we re- remove it from him and help him be the best self Falcon seems to know he once was? Or even do we? Do we have to have a tribunal? Like, what's the next step here? That would be up to the next prince, I am afraid. As Talbot has been held as treasonous to this uh, new form of Camarilla, as Falcon put it, this renashery, which uh, I have questions regarding this. As he has been held treason, treasonous, then he, uh, he cannot be prince, whether or not these bonds were of his own accord. I have a suspicion. When we were at, it was his apartment, right? Mm. No. That moment after the rest of the primogen had left, there was suddenly just not, it wasn't, I I took it as a tactic. I figured that this was suddenly someone who was calmer just in our presence for some reason. He didn't need to put on a face for the rest of the primogen that were in the room. Mm -hmm. Did you clock him as having a different personality entirely? I clocked it as distinct the reaction I I expected something more tyrannical I sat in his presence and nothing happened there was none of the same obsession with his standing where he was he just kind of told us to go and do the job is that in line with what you're experiencing or what he has had all I can go on is the fact that there are two blood bonds that exist and the research that was that was given to us of a Wasombra blood bond falls in line with his behavior and his intention. The only way that we can be certain, well, there are two ways, one is significantly harder. The only way that we can be certain is to wake him up and find a way for him to tell us. There are, there are methods. Uh, I did not warrant to study these methods, my compatriots have though. There are methods to make people be more forthcoming. But this is the easiest way to learn the information. Wouldn't bringing him awake put us all in danger of whomever has the blood bond becoming aware of what's happening? Imminently. In fact, uh, bluntly, having him here for a prolonged amount of time will put us in imminent danger. Great. Which means I will uh, likely have to contact my friends to uh, three-card Monty him around a bit. We we should discuss this with Falcon and Doc to see what they think we should do. Absolutely. Was Falcon, I don't recall, was Falcon in the room when we were with Talbot in his apartment? She was there with all of the primogen. But she left with them as well, She left with them as well. After after all the primogen left, he I agree he did uh, become more jovial. I believe he was putting on an act to make the primogen leave so that he could enact his master plan, and uh, someone's did not see us as much of a threat in the process. It's about this time where the door opens and Falcon and Dot come out, and Falcon still has her arm around Dot's shoulder. Dot's doing what she can to 
fix the disheveled, ash-covered clothing that's on her and trying to fix a couple piercings that had gotten loose. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I wasn't really intending on being here, but, um... Duh! Talbot is, uh... Below us right now, I hear. For now. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I wish I could tell you what happened. I have absolutely no idea. How did you get from no idea to standing before us? Serious, actually. Son of a bitch didn't want to come to the party. He decided to throw a party of his own. Mm. Yeah, he um, he found me. We have some... I'll call them contingency plans. I bet. He found me um, among a group of La Sombra. And that, my friends, is theory confirmed. Mm-hmm. And you don't remember how you got there? No, I don't know how or why or anything, but they're with Talbot. I was being held by four of them, and Cirrus took care of that. Started a fire, unfortunately, but you know things are what they need to be. And then mm. after my own heart, he took care of four La Sombra. Yeah, that in is, his own way. That is no easy feat. No. Thankfully, though, due to the fire, it's not like anyone will find them. But we need to be prepared that the other primogen are going to be just as heavily guarded, if not more. I imagine. I think they potentially underestimated me, and especially underestimated Cirrus. They had no idea he was coming. I bet. We won't be as lucky with the rest. How did he know to come? Contingency plans. He and I have ways to contact when we have no way to contact. Understood. I make sure to set up such things with anyone that's in my employ. Will he be joining us, or is he uh, in the wind, as it were? He has quite a bit of healing to do. Not the first time. I keep Mm. telling him I know somebody. He will do things his way. Apparently. So you're telling me he killed these Lysambra? Yes. To save you? Yes. Has Falcon filled you in on the contingency plan that we put into motion. A bit. I do not know if uh, the Garu will be formidable against La Sombra or not. It is quite possible that we may have to hope that the four of us are as equally matched as Cirrus if we end up go trying to uh, lower the pool, as it were. We may have to wait for Cirrus. Before we make another step anyway. Um, I am not... For the damage he incurred just trying to get me, Mm. he is my asset, and I will not be sending him on further things because I cannot lose him. Because they think my power is in my knowledge. So I was only assigned four. Mm. But what about Denise, someone they think has raw power? or Tabitha and all her connections, or Proctor and her magic. Olivia is going to be the most guarded of all. What do you think we can even do about that? We can hope that the Garu find the more guarded ones. But, uh... And that's when Falcon leans up and goes, Yeah, Dot, it's it's Mooney. The, it's the Glasswalkers uh, over at Violet Sin. They want Talbot's head... And Dot just shrugs and goes, I'll give them Talbot's head myself. You tell them I, we've got a deal. They also want to negotiate clear hunting grounds and other things. Done. Mm-hmm. Okay. We were, we were careful to tell them that we would guarantee a conversation with the Primogen about this, but... I appreciate it. Bring Olivia home however you have to. Yeah, that's what I fi- we figured. Where were you? Embarrassing as it is, I was in a Chinese restaurant in a mall food court. Which mall? North to Cap. Oh, really? In the freezer. 
Hmm. I am beginning to be slightly skeptical of Argaro's efficacy if Dot was in Decatur and they did not find her first. Freezer or not. I have my ways to not be found unless I want to be. Could have been fatal. Could have been. That's my risk when I make these choices. I wonder if at this point... Do we have to move anything out of here anytime soon? We will... You're going to have to move Talbot. We will have to move Talbot. Like I said, uh, if now that theory is confirmed, uh, the La Sombra have their own version of what I can do, which means that potentially if they want to find Talbot, they could find Talbot and come here. There are the words, of course, but that may or may not be helpful. I do not know the full extent. Uh, when we saw La Sombra in the final night, we tended to run, with rare exception. But there's two blood bonds. Do we know that they're both La Sombra? We do not, but we can guarantee at least one is. But what if the other is something worse? Then we especially have to do what we are going to do. Can we play the blood bonds against each other? Not without knowing who they are. And that's going to be very difficult. The only way we can play the blood bonds against each other is if we find is if we find one of them, or one of them finds us, and we gamble that the other one does not work with them. It is a it is a risk. Possibly we take it, possibly we don't. We don't in, have to right now. No. In the meantime in the meantime we need to move Talbot. Uh, we may have a bit of time. I imagine the uh, Otto La Sombra. Was this earlier today that she, that Cirrus broke you out? Yes. I imagine we might have a bit of time as some of them may actually go towards the the dead before they come this way, but... Most of the city is over there thanks to the fire. Exactly. So I can, I can contact my sire. We can move in there. Aaron, do you have contact with Alpha? I do, and if we're going to be working with Gauru, Gangrel are the best with not getting on their nerves. We've got bunkers, we've got protection, and we're removed from the city. Why can't we take Talbert there? We could. We could, put, we could take him there. Uh, Alpha, much as it pains me to say it, he'll have somewhere to stash him. He's good with these kinds of things. We'll have to find something. Uh, we'll have to find something that can eventually break this trail. Uh, what I can do, I can see people for... I can see where they've gone and where they're going for about a day, a few days. Rare exceptions to break it, but we'll have to do something. Uh, either move him too much for them to follow, uh, perhaps we put him in a container of water and then move him. Hmm. Might be harder to find. I trust your judgment. I have no idea how any of this works. We could get a, a coffin full of water. Could just put him in it and drop him right back down here. Just put a kiddie pool in the limo, sure. Yeah. Just drive fast. My God, you, Tremir, go all the way around the world. Just drive fast to the Gangrel compound and get there as quick as possible. Call Alpha on the way. And Falcon just is sitting, just nodding. She's like, I really hate this, but yeah. What Help. about the rest of Atlanta? If there is a huge power vacuum and people are looking for us. Damage control, that's where you come in. Yeah. Honestly, that's what our clan is good at. Is making sure this doesn't get out of hand. Even if we have to lie, say Talbot is fine. <laughs> or misinformation. So should I stay with you then, Falcon? And work on communication? Or stay with your coterie for now. I I'll come up with some ideas of what we can do okay. to mitigate all of this. 
the two of you issued a uh, potential of a blood hunt on anybody that attempts to take advantage of the power vacuum, I would hope and assume that not many would dare test that with at least one acting primogen still here. No, but we should be expecting petitions for a new prince. Yeah, I do not expect any uh, combat is what I'm saying, but I imagine we will have, you will have to go through the uh, bureaucratic process. Dot, what are you not telling me about the Gangro compound? You seem very adamant. That's for Alpha. It's his compound right now. If Denise were here, she would be the one to tell you. Okay. If you all would like to uh, head upstairs, and if you would like to call Philip, yeah. I will uh, retrieve the body and uh, restash my things down there, if you do not mind. Falcon, can you take me home? And Falcon nods and says, yeah. We'll go. We're going to go um, release the Nosferatu from the ward on the building. Do you need a car? No. I got a car. Okay. It's good to have you back, Dot. It's good to be back, kid. All right, let's go. And Falcon and Dot head out together. And X comes back downstairs and goes... All right, what the fuck are we doing next? She's lucky that I didn't reset the wards after she never came by. That would have been very unpleasant. <clears throat> yeah, she was willing to take the risk. She wanted to be dramatic. Hmm. Fair. Um, well, first of all... She told me in the car Cirrus only has one arm now. <sighs> Don't tell her I told you that. Anyway. He was disarmed. <laughs> Aaron. I'm gonna hold that one for her. I'm so oh, proud. this one's my new favorite. This one's my new favorite. Oh, I'm so Aaron. proud of you. It's gonna show. <laughs> First of all, mm-hmm? you told me that Talbot's party was for squares and you would not be going under any circumstances. Yeah, I started worrying that you guys were gonna get yourselves in trouble. Good worry. Good worry. I could have danced with you and not made a fool of myself attempting to salsa. No offense. No, that was amazing to watch. Thank you. I'm going to consider that my birthday present. I love that that was right up at me of the, uh, no, it's my fault that you, you know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I would have gone and danced with X because I did, would not have to worry about Latin dancing. That's yeah, true. no, I don't dance. So, no, this was great. Oh, I saw oh, you trying really to dance. Great. <laughs> All for you. Certainly not you. Um, Second, hmm. uh, long story short, as you can tell, Dot is back. Mm-hmm. The guy who are looking for the other primogen. We might have to go look for the other primogen. And now we have to transport the, pr- the prince to yeah. the Gangoro compound. Yeah, I was listening in at the door. Mm-hmm. Well, then you know everything. Yeah. You ri- are you riding with or are you going back with Dot? I am going to drive Dot. Okay, good. Um, good luck. No. Okay. Um, no, he uh, he's he's acting like old Alpha, so I think you guys will be good. Um, just be chill. You know, as as we can be. Yeah, chill. That's a good one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. No. Did you guys need anything else from me? I mean, eventually we may need you to help. You know, just kill a bunch of bad vampires, but Hey, okay. I'm always down for that. Great. Send me well, a text. We, yep, and I got you. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go. Enjoy. And she heads back upstairs. Your dress looks very nice. Thank you! If you'd like to call Philip, I will meet you all outside with a thing. Uh, He's already out. Right, uh, you can either go out the front or use the special exit. I'll oh. use the front exit. Yeah, yeah same. Alright, go on is it smart for us all to drive in the same vehicle? I would rather us not be split up. Yeah. I trust I trust the four of us, maybe Philip as well, uh, to handle ourselves if we are all attacked versus Atlanta traffic diverting us on the highway. Um, do you need help prying up the floorboards? I should be fine. All right. What about dragging a body? I should be fine. 
All right, so you guys are heading up to the car. Mm -hmm. Anton, what are you doing? I am going to just fill up my pouch with various things that I might need, okay. including a uh, including a vial of silver dust that I've acquired. Okay. I'm going to push the filing cabinet back. Okay. Unlock the floorboard, lift it up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open the filing cabinet and take a little like rope with just a little like sort of meat hook on the end of it and mm -hmm. hook uh, around the what do you call it the, the, the manacles. manacles. Yeah, and I'll pull them up. Okay, gonna catch you a prince fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. gonna haul them out. Yep, pull them up. Close the floorboard, pull the filing cabinet back. Will you be using anything to disguise Talbot's body? Or I, cover it? I will be, but I'm way in doing something else first. <laughs> I'm going to make a wits and resolve roll. Okay. Passed, so okay. I'm not going to do that, and instead, <laughs> I am going to dig through my closet or the little closet off to the side. Okay. Bundle up his hair into a baseball hat. Put some sunglasses on him for a good measure. Okay. We can do Barney style. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this movie. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, hoist them up, arm still manacled over my shoulders. Okay. I'm gonna go out the uh, the secret okay. uh, entrance because I won't have to so I have to go upstairs. Okay. And I'll put I'll put all my stuff back down below when I get back. Okay. All right, and so you get Talbot in the car, mm -hmm. and I will make a roll for Philip driving. Because I imagine you guys have told him how fast he needs to Before go. we do oh, that, yeah. um, yes. before we get to the vehicle, I'm going to go to my vehicle real quick. Okay. And if, if I can do this very quickly, it's yes. pretty important. Uh, I'm going to get my personal phone. Okay. I am going to post something that I had already prepared, which it goes on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, mm -hmm. and onto my professional page, which has a picture of a plane um, taking off from Atlanta, a picture out of a window... And it's going to say that I am taking a hiatus from public life because I'm working on a book okay. about uh, politics and how they relate to uh, current uh, health structures. Okay. And uh, I'm sending a text to my agent, mm -hmm. to my hair and makeup team, to my personal assistant, and uh, to my personal attorney. And I'm going to let them all know that effective immediately, I am taking a hiatus and that I will let them know when I'm back and I will be out of town. Okay. So I'm right. officially on the land. And I'll dump him in the car. And then I'll visit everybody else at Phillip's vehicle. Yep. All right. What do you think? Looks nice? Oh. Looks like he's ready for a vacation. I need to take a picture. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So that was two successes on driving mm. for Philip. Oh, so... He, he's whipping in and out of traffic, a little stressed out by the fact that there is a torpid prince in his vehicle. Same, buddy, uh, same. Few people honking horns at him. It, you know, he's trying not to flip them off back. He's just like, ah, blow it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And he speeds off and you guys arrive at the Gengrel compound. Yep. I'm going to, on our way, just give two quick phone calls. Okay. One first to Alpha. Okay. It's brief. Um, I don't even think I have his number, so I'm just going to call anyone at the Gangrel compound. Yeah, and they'll give the talk. phone. Right. Yeah. Um, and just say, headed your way, clear out the fight night pit. Be there soon. And he's going to text you back, got a better idea, bring your swim trunks. Okay. And 
the other message is to uh, my police contact. Okay. And I say, busy night, but on your time, could you look up this name? And I'll text the doctor, Amanda Gilbert, that okay. Sirius asked me to look into. Okay. Um, looking for a file. If there is one, send it my way. Okay. I'm going to dig through Talbot's pockets and see if there's anything that stands out to me. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, some drugs. Okay. Uh, a hotel room key, okay. and that's about it. Okay, I'll toss those out the window. Okay. Good to know. I'm also, um, really quick, guys. Well, mm. we are just us, presumably. Mm. Um, we're, okay. Uh, you hear as Philip raises the little partition. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Um, you hear a muffled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, are we sure about... I'm really, really sorry, Melisende. Are we absolutely sure about what we were just hearing from Falcon and Dot? I have no current reason to be- to not believe them, and it falls in line with exactly what he found from his ritual. Which part do you uh, doubt? Four people that Sirius came out of nowhere and fought off Dot. Now, granted, she said, and I believe that, yeah, it would be an underestimation to send for La Sombra to try and kill her, and but to have Sirius just come out and dispatch of all of them, and we are not able to see or talk to him because he is her asset. Um, I'm a little wary of any of the primogen that were in the room with Talbot the last time we spoke to him, is all. Wary how? I know blood bonds don't necessarily need to work with that proximity, but I also know that there was such a marked difference in behavior between having the primogen in the room and not. So any potential interaction he had with us suddenly wasn't governed. How familiar are the rest of you with the La Sombra? Uh, My first exposure, I think, was tonight when we saw the shadows creeping in at the masquerade. That's it. Same for you? I've experienced them in my many years, but not extensively. Same for you? Heard stories. It is very possible that we were not the only people in that room with Talbot and the Primogen. It is also possible that there were more people at Elysium than we saw with our own eyes. They uh, exist in shadow. They move with it. They move it. They do uh, many fascinating and terrifying things with it. If you saw the uh, if you saw the shadows change after Talbot was dispatched, it is very possible that one of the blood bonders fled in that moment. It is very possible that Talbot had an additional person with him. For all I know, it was that uh, fucking delivery man who brought Olivia's scarf to us. I have no idea. That's a point. They could... They are like the Nosferatu. They could be anywhere. They are not as as skilled with it on a regular basis, but they could be anywhere. So, if we know that La Sombra are involved, I would assume that we had unaccounted for guests in the process. I think of all the people we should be wary of, the primogen who are currently likely being tortured are probably not the ones. So you'll excuse me if I disagree with your paranoia in this particular sense. I, I think that they are suffering greatly. We saw Dot suffer. We watched Talbot try to make Falcon suffer. Thank God she fought back. But I think right now the goal should be to rescue them at whatever cost and 
find out what we can along the way. Oh, I have no other goals at this point except to say I'm not sure. Fair enough. We're almost there as it is. And if anything, Alpha, from what I hear, is a fairly open book. So It'll be good to see another primogen at this point. Mm. No? Could be. So to speak. So to speak. Uh, Aaron, you have not... uh, not invited me to your house the way I've invited you to mine. Uh, where are we going in this gangrel compound? Uh, generally, this is Lake Lanier we're headed. But specifically, I'm imagining the lake. But we will see what happens when it happens. He taught you clever little. I mean, it makes sense that we all change then. You ready to get that leather jacket over there wet? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. All right, and so you guys pull up to the compound. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is very quiet, um, but Aaron, a lot of the tiny homes have their lights on inside. People just aren't out milling about. I look around for anyone who is out, um, and I ask, where's Alpha? The twins are on the front porch of the house, okay. and they say he's inside in Denise's office. Okay, uh, thank you. Would you all come in with me? Of course, oh, certainly. Um, all of us, and I'll gesture to <coughs> Talbot. Good point. Yes. All right, come on, Bernie, <coughs> and I'll just loop him over my- uh, Bop him around like he's dancing to music. <laughs> I'll loop Sorry. him over my, uh, my shoulders. All right. I'll, just, I'll say very loudly, come on, Bernie, as I get out of the- Okay. All right. You heading into the house? I head in, um, and I just start asking, where is he? Just we need they, to talk to you. They point to Denise's nice. office. Okay. Uh, don't tell me twice. Let's head upstairs. Anton, let me know if you need some muscle to lift him up. Mm, no, he's a, he's a sleepy boy. Kapunk. 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 And uh, we enter Denise's office. Okay. Uh, when you're in there, you see Alpha. Um, not his usual drunk bravado self. He is uh, very intently taking notes um, in a book and just uh, waves and says, Hey, hey, Aaron. Um, all right, close that door. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll close the door. Did Dot fill you in at all? Yes, she did. Also, everyone that was at Elysium filled me in. I Good. imagine word spread fast. Yeah. Falcon is uh, doing well to stay quiet and gone. How good of swimmers are all of you? I don't mind getting wet. Me neither. I can manage. Oh, sugar, this is going to be rough on you. Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just... Uh, hmm. Well, Aaron, maybe everything you're about to see will earn my respect. I missed your birthday present last time, so yeah. what better present than whatever that is? <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll talk later. Sure. And he leads you guys outside and whispers a couple words to the twins, and you see the twins immediately start texting, um, and they're sending out to all the other gangrel to stay in their houses. So this is the illustrious Alpha. And he's about, um, as you guys are seeing him, he's probably about average uh, height, a little bit on the shorter side, but very stock built, muscular. Um, Doesn't look as imposing as you would have guessed, Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely uh, a man who thinks highly of himself. The way that you've avoided him, I, uh, I thought he'd be taller than me. You know I can hear you. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I thought you'd be taller. I thought you'd be less weird. Why? I don't know. You're a younger Tremere. And I'm going to kind of do this over to Thomas. He's not that bad on the eyes either, is he? Mm -hmm. He's all right, but this is cuter. Mm -hmm. No, the banter. Oh. (laughs) Yes. I heard that too. We'll talk later. And he leads you guys to the edge of the lake. And he just stares at it for a minute and goes, Aaron? I know that you were a part of the final nights. What did you know about this lake? 
that it was sprinkled and decorated with hundreds of bodies. Mm -hmm. Did Denise ever tell you what she and I did with them? Mm, no. All right, let's go. And he just dives straight into the water. Story, wow. Storyteller, mm -hmm. with my uh, sect war background, what do I know about this lake? That there were bodies on it. The gangrel kept mm -hmm. what happened here very hidden. The it, only Aaron would be the only one that might have known. I take a dive. Okay. This might be a, a bit weird. I'll just wade in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just drag a... Drag Talbot behind me. Okay. I'm jumping in. <laughs> Much to my great dismay. I don't like it. It feels weird on my feet, but I'm in. Yeah, it's, okay. not, it's not a fun experience. No, it's so slimy. So not as bad as the sin. As you guys follow, Alpha starts swimming lower and lower along the bottom bed of the lake until he reaches what appears to be the top of a submarine. And he twists the hatch, opens it, and goes inside. I, I do not follow him. I'm going to stay outside of the submarine, personally. How murky is it? Pretty, I imagine it's pretty, pretty murky. Yeah. And this is very deep underneath. Yeah, no. All right. I'd like to turn on Sense the Unseen while I'm down here. There is nothing. Okay. Then I will go on in, dragging uh, the body behind me in the water. I'll take the head, help it down <laughs> into the submarine. I'll just make sure that the uh, stake stays in and doesn't get knocked out <laughs> on the way. Okay. Ladies. The I'm... gentlemen have gone in, and there is no screaming yet. Well, <sighs> not like we could hear it. Um. Yeah, I was, I was waiting... <laughs> kind of just above, like kind of looking down and like looking around to see what's happening. And I guess if they're gonna go, I'll I'll go too. You know what? I'm gonna play lifeguard here. I'm going back up. <laughs> Ain't doing this. All right, nope. yeah, I'm gonna follow them. I am going to be up on the beach and I'm going to be looking out. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm going. Okay. So all of you that went into the submarine, <laughs> you go in and Alpha standing there, kind of wringing out the end of his shirt. And as you look around. It's your normal, empty, old submarine. Doesn't belong here, but was clearly put here. But the floors are covered in piles of ash. Some stacked up maybe three feet high in the corner, but mostly just dissipated along the ground. And Alpha just kind of gestures. He goes, this was what we did with the lake. We couldn't risk anybody coming to find him. Saves a lot of space. It was the worst three days of mine and Denise's life. And I hope you all can understand that. How many? 275. All of them? No. Some of ours. But everyone was beyond recognition and beyond saving. Makes sense. It sounds like it was war. It was. It was, kid. You were born in war. Did... Did you keep any... Any records at all? Any belongings of the people you took down here? Threw them away long ago. We had to do it as fast as we could. Like I said, three days in, it still felt like we were never stopping. As far as I'm aware, there is very little record of what happened during those ten years. And uh, what record that does exist is scattered in various places. For scale, how many... Gangrel are currently at the compound. Probably, God, last I counted, 
That was before Denise welcomed in a few more, but last I counted, at least 18. Wow. Are you... You're not going to kill Talbot right away. You don't have to. We right? can't. No. I ain't killing him without cause from the others. Okay. He Despite is. what you may think of me, boy... There is a way that we do things here. None of you were present at the founding of this Camarilla, so I don't expect you to know. But if you need to stash him, this is the safest place. Nobody can locate him down here. Especially now that we have moved him through the water into another location, even if they, uh... That's the point. Even if they try to come on down, it'll be difficult. Thank you, Alpha. Really, truly. Denise chooses me for a reason, whether the kids like me or not. I'm sure the rest of the Camarilla will be incredibly appreciative of I your know. actions. I know. So, all right, just put them over there or something. I don't wager y'all give a shit where he lays. Not particularly, and I'll just drop him Okay. where he is. Plunk. Alpha, how uh, likely do you feel that you are to come back down here until he's needed? I try not to come down here unless I have to. Well, I do not... While I do not foresee uh, our enemy getting particularly far in towards the lake, would you like extra guardianship on this door in the meantime, considering who is down here now? Oh, it's already there. Interesting. No need to worry about that. I also got word from Falcon and Dot that we got some shadow motherfuckers doing this. Well, so I've taken that precaution. We will be having floodlights delivered to the compound in a few hours. Very good. I should Very probably... Uh... This place will be lit up like Christmas morning. It might... Look like a beacon, but I've already ordered the twins to start construction on three more houses that we don't fucking need. Just to make it look like we've got something going on and that's why we got the lights. It's not a bad idea, actually. Very smart. That's why she chose me. I'm only not your permagen because I didn't want to be a permagen. I'd rather be a prince. But we can talk about that later. Yeah. What do you need from us now? I need you to keep your fucking nose clean and keep doing what you're doing. And what about the rest of the Camarilla? Since you seem to have heard from other people at Elysium, what do you expect them to do? I have been contacting sires to keep their children in line, Great. making clear that as the new sheriff, according to Dot, a title which I hold begrudgingly, I will be following up on any blood hunt of any person that is reported to me. Great. Yes, son. What are you going to do about Denise? Get her back. I know. But what are you going to do about Denise if you are to be watching over the city? From what I hear, you guys have made a fancy little agreement with some good old boys to find her. So my goal is to take care of this city until she is found, since that is the agreement. It is not one I enjoy. I would rather go get her myself. But... This is the agreement you all made. It is the agreement that Dot is enforcing. And if I want what I get out of this bargain, I will follow it. And what I get is none of your business. I gather it. Alpha? Mm-hmm. As you seem to already be keeping those who can be under control under control, will you also keep abreast of anybody who might be taking advantage of this power vacuum? I am keeping an eye on it. Thank you. Is this it? Can we please get out of here? This is not my favorite yes, place. Yes, I would really like to. 
Thank you. After Go you? on. I'm not touching that door now. Good boy. And he opens the door to let you guys out. I'll scramble my short self up and out. Mm. He, give, he gives you, like, one little push <laughs> on your heel. <laughs> I'm going to whoosh up into there and meet up with Thomasina at the at the uh, top. Yep. Just make eye contact with him, pull myself up and out. He's just like... And before you can go, Aaron... Yeah. He stops you and he puts a hand on your shoulder. He just kind of takes a second and goes, Kid, I know you don't like me. That much is very obvious. I don't know how you're a fucking cop. But I'm going to say this because no one else is around. I am proud of you and the things that you've done. So help me take care of this city and help me take care of our clan. Okay? Yeah. All right, go. And I'm out. All right, and he follows after you guys, locks the the thing, and goes up with you and heads out to the beach and just shakes it all off and goes, I'm going in the house. I'm drying off. I start wringing out my clothes as much as I can and trying to maintain whatever quaff I can. I got some towels in, in my place. I'll... I'll fetch him real quick. That'd be great, because I have dirt and grime in my shoes. It's not a problem. I'm really surprised that there just isn't a routine of shaking yourself dry around here, but a towel would be great. (laughs) Your towels are for you. (laughs) Did you not see uh, our host, as it were, shaking himself up? I didn't. I was more worried about you guys, frankly. And You missed quite the sight? wasn't much to see from a little bit I did. So oh, I, I meant fe- him shaking himself out. He'll <laughs> <laughs> have to regale me later. We might not be able to. But I noticed you came up one less, so... The package is delivered, and it is, uh, if I'm inferring correctly, possibly safer than I could make it. It's incredibly safe. It's so smart. I am beyond impressed with Alpha, to be honest with you. I had no idea of his leadership capacity, mostly because I haven't had the opportunity to spend much time with him, and... Your news was biased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. It's fine. It's just... Mm. I am glad to hear that, or I'm glad to see that maybe he's not as bad as you might have previously thought he was. I think we might have more to see of uh, of Alpha in time. But for now, as uh, Denise has told you, that you have told us, He's the right person for the right situation. I'd rather have him here than him not here. It's better to have a leader right now, even if it's not a true leader, even if it's not somebody who's been voted or has fought their way. I am glad somebody is looking out for the city because we can't do everything. Let's hold off on a leader title Well, for now. He's claiming himself to be a leader of one sort or another. Is he? Sheriff. Sheriff. As it were. As, as appointed by Dart. But we should uh, hold off on leader title, both not to uh, give incorrect applying of titles and uh, maybe to not uh, jump to it so quickly just yet. And to not put a larger target on this place than there might already be. Okay, all right, everybody. No, this this place is fine. I, uh, Aaron knows Alpha longer than we do. If there is something off about him, I believe that we have yet to see it. No, this is this is prime real estate alpha. If he's here, it's because he wants to be here because he can. Again, this is biased. Make himself better, but when he's stronger, that rubs off on others. So we'll see what happens after tonight. All right. Mm-hmm. You see Philip get out of the car and he's like, uh. <laughs> So I'm going to go over to him. Um, Sweetheart, what? He's like, I don't know. Everyone's phones are going off. I just heard text message noises. For fuck's sake. All right. Um, I don't know. Shit's happening. I thought thought something was wrong. You you got, this is exactly right. It's exactly right. Good job. Thanks. You get all the points. I turn around and I just kind of semaphore my way through getting them over here. Yep. What? Phone's going off. 
Gotta check that shit right now. Take into my coat. Yeah. Or am I gonna yeah. jump in, grab it? Sure, blue yeah. flip it. Yeah, I'll grab both. But That's yeah. the only phone yeah. I have because the other phone is off for the for the time being. And you have a text message from a emoji that is a half moon. And when you open it, it is from Elijah Grace. Uh huh. Oh Jesus. And it says, "I know that this is not the most appropriate time." <laughs> His name is Ethan Dolce. He's a Tremere. Nothing for certain in terms of last location. Last we saw, he teaches classes at the Phoenix and Dragon. I would appreciate your discretion. Any Tremere without guidance is severely dangerous. Your job doesn't stop because Talbot's gone. Text, I'll just text him back. Picture, anything more? Question mark? He sends you a picture. Okay. And that is where we are going to stop for our break. We'll be back in a few minutes.
Welcome back. And so you guys have gotten your message from Elijah mm-hmm. of another lost childer, Ethan, yeah. who works at Phoenix and Dragon, teaching late night classes. At least this time we know what clan he is off the bat. I think you, you should be leading this one. Potentially. And you have a picture? This is... I do, in case uh, he is not there, or in case he gets away without us being able to stop him. Do you have a different idea about who's going point on this one? Mm, Not really. You sounded like you had a misgiving. Um, It depends on... Depends on if he is like Stefan and Tracy, or if he is like Catherine. But we will not know that until we get there. Yeah. So, in this instance, we will just uh, do our normal thing and uh, take whatever precautions we can. And with that, I'd like to make a roll of blood of potency. Okay. And I do not get hungrier. Okay. And my, I have a. Uh, Four successes, but it's critical, so my blood potency goes up to three. Okay. All right. Just <clears throat> all precautions that we might need. Uh, we know now how things can go south very quickly, and we also know that uh, we do not always get all the information up front with this, so be prepared. I will uh, do my best not to judge as harshly off the bat. Well, at least we don't have Cirrus here to blow a hole in a wall. Mm. There is that. So. There is that. Well, what is the Phoenix and Dragon? Uh, it's an occult shop. They do not. It is a fucking new age shop. Storyteller, what time is it? Uh, it is probably close to one. It's a... It's a crystals and incense shop where you can align your chakras and speak with the fucking dead. I don't know. It's I have <laughs> a feeling if there's a threatening Tremere there that maybe they've got a hold of a few things, huh? And there's nothing of fucking value in that shop. It's a, it's a place for suburban mothers who think that they are the witches, the granddaughters of the witches that you did not burn. And they can access their power to crap. No. But we're not going in judging this time, so. Of course. All right. Philip? Sweetheart! Yeah? All right. Do you... Phoenix and Dragon. Google it. Uh, okay. (laughs) Roswell Road. 285. 285. Okay. Okay. And he puts it into his GPS. And he is going to drive you guys there. Is there anything you guys would like to do on the way there? Yeah, I want to order like three emergency floodlights off of Amazon on my regular phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like I like the idea. Okay. I turn my phone on. Really shouldn't do that. And it's just absolutely flooded yep. with really bad texts. Yeah. A lot of angry people. A lot of angry people. Uh, a couple friends being like, the fuck? You know, your makeup team is freaking out. A couple of them are asking, are we going to get paid for the time where you're gone? Uh, I do not respond to them right now. I only did that, I guess, to make myself feel worse in the moment, but uh, I turn it off and throw my phone pretty violently across the car. Okay. You okay there? I took a much-needed and uh, in-all-precaution hiatus from public life and... uh, People are not very happy about it. I imagine not. You bring in the ratings for people. Well, it's uh, safer to not be in one place where somebody can find me at all times. In this fair. moment. As I made myself um, very visible to pretty much the whole Camarilla. True. So, just trying to lay low. Makes sense. I didn't even realize you changed. You both changed your hair. No, this is a wig. Yeah, I knew that. It's a nice wig, but it's Thanks. also nice hair. Thank you. I know yours takes more upkeep, though. 
Yeah. This is so much easier, I swear. No, it looks good. I know. You can't even see the word stuff in it anymore. Actually, it is a really good wig. Even after getting wet, it looks excellent. Mm. It does, yeah. It does smell coming from me. Sorry. It is like Lanier. Easy here, Volcano Sauce. I will eat you like a crunch wrap if you comment on the <laughs> smell one more time, okay? No. This is your limo, your rules. Thank you. All right. So you guys pull up. Philip pulls into the initial parking lot and kind of looks at the steep oh, upcline the hill and just goes, no. No. Uh, I'm going to have to let you guys out here. No. Understandable. Uh, but there's a lot of people, so I think you're good. Surprisingly, for after midnight. Not a really excellent place to be picking up lost chowder, though. Mm, no, but... Uh, when was the last place that we were really gung ho about picking up lost chowder? Well, it, at least the Botanical Gardens was... There was nobody there. Well, the vortex there was. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. But um, we have an assignment from Elijah, who I did not realize was in our phone. You're right. Um, I'd like to talk with him at some point. I well, have, uh, he is, he is in charge of the of the school, presumably while Libya is gone. Mm. So, I'd like to talk with him about that See. when we are done with this. Do you have everything you need? I certainly hope so. All right. All right. So as you guys top the hill, <clears throat> there is a small looks like a house, maybe from the '60s, but it's been converted into a shop, and there is a sign on the door that says uh, overnight tarot classes every Tuesday and Thursday. Are any of you allergic to uh, incense and sage and all that? Does Jeez. anyone have latent allergies? I don't touch the door, um, but I do remind everybody, I haven't been in this shop. I know about it. Uh, am I correct that there are other religious symbols inside? They are scattered around the shop, yes. Mm. What are you looking for or I, not looking for? Uh, anything Christian. Can't see it. Can't be near it. Really bad. So, yeah. You do not want to... If we're doing tarot shop, we just go straight shot through. We won't walk past any of it. I will follow you. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean I don't know the place. I just push the door open. <laughs> All those Black Friday shopping deals. You just gotta get it. <laughs> All right. So you guys head into the shop. It, you can hear a bit of noise from the back just a little bit. Um, there's a few stacks of pizza on the front counter. It The shop seems to be technically closed, but for the overnight event, it is open. Are people out and about? Inside, are they all like towards the back? They're they're more towards the back. So when you guys look in, there are rooms to shop in to the left that contain books, candles, and things. And then there is a straight shot to the back mm -hmm. where there's one wall lined in various stones. And then there are a few doors lining the back wall. I'll just look around and go, all right, uh, don't go that way. And I'll point down the left towards where all the little religious statues are. And uh, don't go perusing bookshelves idly. Back there. And as we walk past, I'm just going to, I can't see anything. Can't see it. Can't see it. That is more of what I meant by sensitive or allergy. <laughs> it's just, yeah, no, that, 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 yeah, no, that makes more sense. But I did think about, you know, it's fine. We all have our quirks. We do. Um, uh, storyteller, are there a lot of, um, like, macrame projects and things like that around here? No. Yeah. Great. Okay, cool. Lots of, lots of uh, tie-dyed fake tapestries, um, a couple actual nice woven ones. Lots of stones, lots of Buddhist symbols. In this street shot that you guys are taking, not so much uh, when you enter that next room. The wall is just a lot of small jars filled with stones, and they're kind of organized by color. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Is the pizza guarded? No. I will grab a slice of pizza. Blend in. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look at the stones. These are beautiful. Are you sure they don't do anything? I mean, maybe I can grab one and... I still have sense, I I still have sense the unseen up. Does anything, like, jump out at me? Nope. They are rocks. You would have better luck digging one up out of the ground. I mean, it's still pretty. I'm going to go over and look at the candles. Uh, large assortment? Uh, decent assortment, all by color, and there's a little notepad in front of each section that tells you what that color means. Are there any matches nearby? Any lighting things that they would have? Um... 
on the wall adjacent, there are some nice long matches that are, you know, just in a little pack hung up on the wall. I'm going to nab a pack, okay. if I may. Okay. Um, are you pocketing a pack, or? Yes. Okay. Uh, roll me. Let's... Larceny. Yeah, let's call that dexterity and larceny. All right. How many do you need? How many do you need? Here we go. <laughs> How many did she get? Like three? Got two. two dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> I got this many. One. Yeah, I got one. I mean, you're you're able to put it in your pocket. There's. Enough people not specifically looking at the merchandise. Uh, but Anton, roll me wits and awareness. Okay. Also, would anybody recognize me? Not in this shop. Thank God. <laughs> Plus attribute dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. Goodness gracious. Blood potency. So as you're looking around, uh, you do see a young man by the wall uh, of rocks. He's got one of the trays for picking, and he's got, he's very precariously trying to balance the jar of lapis lazuli without dropping the tray as he's trying to investigate and pick. Same picture you received, long, straight black hair, very smudged glasses like he tried to clean them with his shirt, and it did not work any, but he keeps trying. And the cats in the shop are noticeably staying away from him. I was wondering about the cats. Do I do I see them? Do they see me? These three? I'm still okay. playing with the rocks. Like, I think they're okay. pretty. I'm yeah. still... All right, so I'll, just, I'll just tell Mel. <clears throat> Found him, but uh, wait right here. And I'm going to move towards him, and I'm just going to... Quickly but gingerly, like put my hand on the on the jar so it doesn't like tip and, f- and spill everything. Yeah. So, careful, careful. It's like, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank a, you. Oh, can you hold it for like two seconds? I sure need, thing. It would be. I just need th- three more. Yeah, no, oh, that one's a good one. Okay. Um, sorry, are you guys here for the for the tarot event? We heard about that, so yeah. I, I oh, brought, thank God, I brought, it's brought, been so fucking slow. Here. Yeah, I brought uh, some friends. Uh, let me put my tray behind the counter. Okay. And he goes behind the counter and sets the tray and brings back the jar okay. to put up. And uh, he goes, yeah, let's let's just take everybody. Fuck it. Come on. Come on. Sure, sure. Yep. And I'll wave them over. He, he leads you guys into a back room. Okay. It, the ceiling, walls, floor, all tapestries, pillows to sit on, a small table in the middle. And he says, all right, we'll just... Are you guys familiar with tarot, any of you? I've done the bit. I, I did it once in New Orleans, and oh. that was it. Oh, I bet that was fun. It's weird. I've been wanting to go to New Orleans. Nice place, nice place. Delicious. Uh, so what's what's everybody's names? Let me get to know you. Uh, Tommy. Okay. Anton. Melanie. Melanie. Aaron. Aaron, okay. All right. So let's see here. Have you been doing this long? Oh, God, yeah, probably, oof, I'd say maybe, like, 15 years? No, it's, like, 10 to 15. I kind of lose track of time. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, what we'll do to get started, I'm just going to do, I'll just do, like, one card for each person. We'll just kind of, like, get to know each other. Okay. All right. Uh, so, my name is Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Welcome, welcome. I... Uh, I run this little event. I got the shop doing, like, after hours. I figured it was fun to, like, bring people in for tarot because, you know, folks got to work during the day. And, you know, you want to be able to do some cool shit after work. Ethan, have you been in this shop for all this time? uh, I've been working with this shop probably about seven or eight years, I think. All right. So let's see here. Uh, So, uh, Tommy, let's, let's get started with you. All right. Sure. All right. Uh, the Hermit Reversed. <laughs> Interesting. That's a nice one. All right, we'll set that right there. And let's see here. Melanie it was. Okay. Uh, Melanie, let's see. Uh, we've got, huh, the Hang One Reversed. 
That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What do you guys do for a living? I teach. Oh, same. Oh. I write. Oh, very cool. What do you write? Um, I just... I, opinion pieces, a lot of books. It really depends. Probably whoever, got a sick blog. Yeah, whoever will pay me. I'll, I'll oh, write okay. them. What about you? Uh, yard work over towards uh, Lake Lanier. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, you, my friend... I could guess. Uh, temperance reversed. Hmm. Huh. That's, that's three in a row. Uh, and... You. All right, let's. The world reversed. That's, huh. It's a lot of major arcana for one drop. Yeah, I. This is strange. I've never gotten all major arcana or all reversed. No. For a group before. It's the last time this kind of thing happened. And his hand kind of slides down the table Ethan. towards his pocket, and he goes, who are you? Would you mind if I drew for you? I don't think that's a good idea. Who are you? It's a pretty small sample size. A coincidence. There are 72 cards in the tarot deck, and only 21, 22 of them are major arcana. It's like drawing 20 aces out of a deck of cards. So who are you guys? Hmm. I highly doubt you came here for the tarot class. Surprisingly, we didn't. Yep. Because you were running it. You came here because of me. Who are you? As I said, I am a teacher. And it is my business to teach people things that they may still be attempting to learn things that they perhaps were not taught properly the first time, Mm -hmm. to make sure that there is adequate, proper education for all of our kind. Yeah, well, the last time I got all these reversed was the last time someone did this to me, so you guys can move on. Someone already got to me, okay? Mm. He's a teacher. I'm, I'm a counselor. We are here to help. We're not here to hurt. Ethan, who... Do you know who was the last time? Or did they just walk in? It was... <clears throat> it was a... Uh, a hookup. I see. Did you know who they were, or... One night only? I mean... I met them at a bar, so I knew them about mm. that much. Decided to uh, pull some tarot cards for a, uh, a party Chicks trick. dig it, okay? <laughs> like, I understand, I, mean, I understand. I understand. Uh, girls think it's cool. I understand. Or, you know, the right girls think it's cool. Did you uh, pull the card before or after? Before. I do not want to say that uh, we are all chosen for our respective paths, but there is some uh, prejudice in selection, as it were. Mm -hmm. Demonstration of skill to some might be valuable or beneficial. How long ago is this uh, bar hookup? Probably about nine years ago. Some are less uh, less prejudiced in their selection. Yeah, and how am I supposed to believe that any of you are not like her? Like, why should I not just fucking scream and get the manager in here? Because if we wanted to do something, we would have already done it. But we're here to help you. So what do you want from me? I, I meant what I said. We want to teach you. We want teach me what? Your, your bar hookup 
did her thing and left, I imagine. There was not much contact afterwards, and then suddenly your whole life changed. Yep. I watch enough movies to figure it out. We would like to right that wrong and give you the chance to learn to live with your situation. So you're just going around like some fucking fanged guardian angels, and I'm supposed to believe that. That is our assignment. Assignment? The fuck? We work for a very organized system, and as a part of that system, people have their jobs, and ours is to find people like you and to help however we can. You realize this sounds like a cult, right? You you realize this sounds like a cult. Mm. We do. We also realize that at this juncture, you have a choice. And unfortunately, the choice isn't as clear as that might make it. Yeah, no, from this poll... Y'all are fucked. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, yeah. That is the... Uh... That is the supposition, is it war? But is it because of you? I don't think it is. No. So, maybe we're just here. Maybe we're just here together. And maybe... What do you guys want me to do? What, do you, what do you expect out of me with this little cult? We'd like for you to listen. And we'd like for you to tell us what you do know, what you have experienced, and then maybe we can fill in some gaps for you. Yeah, well, if we're here too long, it's going to look really suspicious, and Megan's going to come knocking on the door. So if I'm going to listen, talk fast. How long? So you have been like this for nine years. Yeah. Have you killed? Yep. How many times? Probably three or four times in the beginning. And that's it? Yeah. What can you do besides draw tarot cards and kill people? Have you discovered anything more about yourself? I mean, some weird shit's happened, but I don't really know much beyond that. How weird? I don't know. Weird. Isn't it the same shit all y'all can do? No, 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 no. No, 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 but you and I are more alike than, than it may seem at first glance. Uh, judging by your outfit, yeah. Hmm. Ethan, we would like to bring you to the head teacher, as it were, who can instruct you in preserving yourself better, understanding the rules. There is an entire world of politics that you are not aware of. This fucking Hogwarts for vampires. Ah, you wish it were. That is to say, the houses and the sorting and blah, 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 blah. Trust me, there's an element of that, but in this case, it's more... You got your own harsh realities to deal with. The goal of these classes aren't to indoctrinate you. No. To whatever extent you might believe that. They are to help you live the most fulfilling life you can in the life you have. And they are to protect you from others who may take offense at you not knowing the rules. Ethan, have you seen The Magicians? Yeah. It's a pretty fun show with magic that's dangerous. Yeah. We're trying to get you to where you're comfortable and safe. But if you're left unchecked and unprotected, there's hundreds of things out there that you don't even know about. Give us the chance to enlighten you. And do you have anyone else like us that you can talk to? Or have you? No, it's just been me. Believe it or not, that is good. But it'll be very nice to have a community. I guess. I mean, I've got a community here. What's it? <sighs> Hey, is, is there someone else with you guys? I have sensed the unseen up. Do I notice anything? Nope. Yeah. Is this because 
This just fell out of the deck. Emperor reversed. Is that an elephant? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, is this supposed to be the teacher you're taking me to, or? I might mm -hmm. hope so. Well, it's reversed, so. Apparently I'm just gonna get every Major Arcana reversed, which really makes me feel great, guys. Same. Tell me, tell you what, if you don't mind, do a quick drawing on yourself if you would not like me to draw for you, and that will inform our next decision. Fine. What kind? Just a single card? Single card. For the moment. Just what is the, you in the moment? Queen of Swords upright. Come with us. Call it a night. If it's been slow, it's been slow. Do you like reading? About... I work in a fucking magic shop. Yes, I like <laughs> reading. If you come with us, I guarantee you that I can give you resources that you would never find here. That's an enticing offer. All right. Fine. I'll tell him I'm dipping out early. Thank you. I will fucking kill every one of you if you try something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Heard. All right. And so he goes out and he talks to the shop owner and comes back and grabs his, you know, uh, woven messenger bag and <laughs> stuffs his cards back into their box and shoves that in his bag. And okay. Goes up to you guys. All right. Where are we going? Uh, we have a card outside. And uh, Ethan, would you mind terribly, and I know this is invasive, could I see your glasses for a second? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take them and just kind of wipe them on my shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little better, I hope. I guess. I mean, I don't really that's, need them. It just, it's just, it's an aesthetic. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, text fellow up and just let him know that we're headed back down to him. Okay. Okay. And so he is going to follow you guys. I'm going to let him step out first. Quietly and begrudgingly mm. down to the car. Yeah, let him step out first. Yeah. Let the real step out first. Mm -hmm. And then, just for the hell of it, I'm going to turn the flashlight on my camera and just turn around to the room behind me. Just illuminate it. Nothing. Okay. Put it away and follow up. Okay. Load him up in the car and take him to see Elijah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh,. I am going to oh, shoot. roll for Elijah's drive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Philip. Philip, <laughs> Philip yeah. not Elijah. <laughs> Elijah <laughs> doesn't <laughs> drive. <laughs> Where's Philip? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Elijah? <laughs> there are footmen for that. <laughs> All right, so he's good. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so he. We don't get body in the car this time. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. true. Well, uh, good body. <laughs> 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 so he. Uh, Pulled you guys up to the house, mm -hmm. um, and you know there's the usual carriage waiting out front, and Ethan's looking out like, "The fuck is this?" But he doesn't say that to the limo. Okay, yeah. that's fine. This is school. It is. A okay, bit you like said it wasn't Hogwarts. Yeah. That is a fucking horse-drawn yeah, carriage. Yeah, like Hogwarts. We actually did say it was vampire Hogwarts. I. No. no. I said it was. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit like Hogwarts, Hogwarts. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Hogwarts is what I will show you. This is cool. This is a uh, etiquette. Okay. You know how they never really, uh, they just took kids and put them into a magic school and there was no adjustment period for them at all? Yeah. You get the adjustment period. Okay. You actually don't have to run at a wall at full speed and hope that it just opens up for you. Yeah, no, 11-year-old me tried that, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. 
And so he's going to get into the carriage with you guys and mm-hmm. ride up to the house. Mm-hmm. We've alerted Elijah of our approach, by the way. Yes. I yes. still have since the unseen up. I'm just looking around. The most you can see is there is a group of three kids playing obfuscated tag <laughs> off in the garden. Okay. And we all still smell like lake water, right? I yeah. None of us have changed. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good thing this but is a he water smells like makeup. patchouli. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> I told he you it's full of it's worse. full of incense and shit. You're right. All right, so you guys come up to the house, mm-hmm. and who's going up to the door? I will. Okay. I will knock politely as per usual. Before you can finish knocking, the door swings open, and there's Elijah. He says, "My good shepherd, hello. Hello, hello how Elijah. are you all? And hello, Ethan." You are among friends here. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be your teacher. Everyone, come on. Have a seat in the parlor. Hmm. We all shuffle in. I'll just breathe in. And he's going to lead you all into the side parlor where you've met Olivia before. And uh, two gentlemen walk in. Similar gentlemen you've seen Olivia offer as refreshments before. Mm-hmm. And he says, Ethan, these young gentlemen here, uh, they're for you to have a proper meal uh, don't worry. I assure you, if anyone hurts you, you can kill them without hesitation. And Ethan is just like, okay. <laughs> and he's let out of the room, just kind of like gawking at the young men. And Elijah just kind of waits for the door to shut and goes, all right, thank you. Thank you. I understand that it's such a sudden errand while Talbot is unavailable is not likely something you wanted to accept, but until my mother returns, I do have to be diligent with the school. When they are one of my kind, it is uh, better sooner than later, as it were. And we are doing our job as we were given. Hmm. Any word on your mother? No. Typically, I can sense her, uh, but I can't. And that has me very worried. More worried than I care to let on in front of anybody else. Understandable. She is your your sire, as it were. Oh, no. No. But you can sense her. Yeah. Because she's my mother. Hmm. We're doing our best to find her. Thank you. I don't really know what to do without her. Please tell me you have some kind of a plan to get her back. We have resources that are looking. Uh, Our friend who is not here has located one primogen. Which one? Dot. Oh, thank fuck. Pardon me. (laughs) He does not have to stand on etiquette among us, Elijah. Things are... The situation is very non-traditional. We are non-traditional. You two can be as... Don't you tell my mother you heard me say that. You can be as non-traditional as you'd like. Elijah, the best that you can do is keep teaching, keep training, keep finding these lost child or... the world has to keep turning. And you have to stay in touch, which reminds me, you had our numbers. I'm assuming that's standard. Yes, I was programmed into your phone. You were, with the uh, most fascinating symbol. Oh, which one did Doc give me? The one that applies to you. It's Dot. That could be a lot of them, including a middle finger I'll emoji. Just, I'll just hold up the phone and show him the half moon. Yes. I'll just snap it closed. We are in, uh, as I said, untraditional times with uh, an untraditional Camarilla, as it were. I imagine... I hope you will understand that my position as primogen is a secret even to Talbot Rourke himself. Mm, it's not like he's going to do a fucking thing about it. Well, never say never. Well. For a while. Oh, you don't... Have you been here the whole night? Oh, no, I know what happened. Okay. I just also know how old Talbot is. I know how old my mother is. Mm-hmm. And I know not to underestimate someone like that. 
Mm. We have taken additional precautions as well. Okay. So what's the plan to get her back? Elijah, if it's okay, we would like to keep that on a need to know basis. No. No. The, uh... No, he's right. He is right. He is. I hate to say it. I would appreciate the comfort that that knowledge would give me. Mm-hmm. But given Falcon's actions, it probably is best I don't know. <laughs> the less you know, the less danger you're in. Let, then... me, let me ask you this. If the primogen, once recovered, have to discuss agreement of terms with the people that we have helping us, would you be present with them? Since Talbot won't be in the room, likely. Then he needs to know, because he will be on this deciding board. No. I have children coming in here from every clan. I don't need one of these little Malkavians crawling inside my brain and getting something they Mm. shouldn't. That's absolutely correct. And don't tell Tilly I said that. Of course not. We have the spotlight where we think we want it. We don't want it spreading around too much. Just assure me you have a plan. We have have a plan, plan and we have a lot of assistance. Do you have anywhere... Any recourse if something does happen outside of our control? Yes. My uh, prize students, we'll call them. We have some abilities that the rest of you do not. And while I wish to not give away such things for any reason, We can take care of things when you all are not able. I imagine this one's already told you about me. No. Believe it or not, I am respecting your privacy. Because I know that, uh... I've only just learned tonight of this, uh, Renashari Camarilla. Oh. I have been operating under the assumption that, uh, there is a prejudice against you. Mm Mm-hmm. One that I do not share, I might add, but nevertheless, tonight is a night of new things. I'm referred to as Amendment 11. <sighs> I will let you tell. I would not, I would not dare to uh, step on to this. Plus, I, uh, there's so much more I still have to learn. You're a smart ass. I appreciate it. Believe it or not, I'm being sincere. There's something about your face. (laughs) I am the thin blood primogen. Myself and some of my students here have the fortunate ability to go about when you all are not able. I am not my mother's childer because there were people who wanted to get back at her a long time ago and they found out her son was human. I was her punishment for pissing off the wrong people. Fortunately for me, those wrong people were very weak on the lower food chain and I have benefited from it. If you know the word Renashari Camarilla, then this goes a bit deeper than I think any of you realize. Tell us a bit more about this, if you do not mind. God, where to begin? Well, huh? what do you want to know? Obviously, the Ranashri Camarilla allows for things that the typical Camarilla would forbid. Yes. I suppose... We should know if there is anything else surprising that we should expect. Things out of the norm that we have been taught, either by our sires or through your teachings. You say this in a very accusatory term, young man. Come with me. 
and he's going to lead you guys out and down to the library. Is he walking to? I'm just asking. <laughs> yes, but sometimes it's the way you ask things that just has a tone. You, it's called you, Russian. <laughs> it's called academic. Mm. And when he leads you guys into the library, he goes to a very large portrait of himself and Olivia. He cocks it to the right, to the left, to the left again, and back center, and then clicks it open. And you see a small door on the wall of a safe. And he covers it up and undoes the safe and pulls out a large parchment document and brings it over to a large table in front of all of you and unrolls it. And across the top in Olivia's very fancy calligraphied writing, you see a document entitled, A Founding in the Ashes. He goes, there it is. There's your Renashery Camarilla. When this city was founded, the original ideas of the Camarilla were not going to suit us. Atlanta is different. We do not have a lot of luxuries in the wake of the final nights that many other cities have. So we had to change and adapt things like both of your clans being here. Hmm. This document is what allowed you to be here and protects you. It is why Falcon is not dead. Peruse it at your will. Who knows about this? No one. All the primogen, Talbot, and myself. And only me, because I had to copy it. And the kindred at large just know that we operate under a different Camarilla, but they do not know the extent to which it's different. They don't know it's a different Camarilla. They just think we have some differing rules. I see. When mm. Falcon opened her mouth, they now might know. Mm. They all heard the name. Yes, I have instructed other people to play it off as that is the title of an agreement that they made that Talbot would serve the city. It's not wrong. Not an entire declaration of independence, as it were. Mm. To that end, for people not knowing what's in this, how can they be expected to obey it? That's their primogen's job. Mm. To inform them, I'm sure at any point you all have had interesting rules Certainly. come from your primogen, things that maybe didn't make a bit of sense, but it was your primogen's rule, so you listen to them. These rules function better when people think it is their primogen's personal rule. Hmm. I see. And Storyteller, I've just been looking over it. I imagine there's nothing in here that, like, the soci kindred society itself has to follow and obey. Not kindred at large. Right. Does this mean we have to watch out for Camarilla loyalists harping in on us as well? Only if they find out about this. Only if they find out, and we are going to great lengths for them to not find out. As far as they know, the prince had a successor who does not want to be seen right now. You heard what happened, but I imagine you have not heard from Falcon as to the follow-up. Not yet. My phone has been blowing up, mm. and I have done my best to solely focus on the children. Well, at the interest of informing you while still keeping you clean, mm -hmm. there is a possibility of one or two other people who know about this. And who is that? At least one of them might be the person responsible for... Talbot's actions as of late. As I said, I am uh, trying to keep you clean since you seem concerned. Yes. But let me know and I will, they will do otherwise. Okay. You said you had to copy this? Yes, I made a copy because as, as you can see, this has amendments added to it quite nicely. The original document contained no amendments and my mother is 
quite furious at notes being scribbled in the liners. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, this is a replication after we agreed on the amendments. Hmm. Who agreed on the amendments? All of us. And the original was destroyed? Yes, it was burned. Good. This is the only copy. That's why it's in the wall safe. All right. But here's the part that I think will interest the lot of you. He reaches down and points to rule four. All positions, including prints, shall be elected without a term limit. Elected individuals will sever their position or will serve their position until they suffer the final death or are found guilty of treason to the Camarilla or their position. Should they be found guilty, they are to be put into torpor until a replacement is elected. Their replacement shall carry out their execution. You can't be serious. Oh, wait, it gets better. Go on. And he points to Amendment 4A. A kindred is only permitted to submit their name for election if they have a sponsor from their own clan. The sponsor's commitment to the candidacy must be public knowledge. Failure to secure a sponsor will disqualify the kindred from election. How, how on earth do you plan to have this be public knowledge and still have this be a secret from the rest of the world? This is one of those things that was a great idea when we didn't think Talbot Rourke was going to need to be killed. Anybody that comes to Atlanta is going to know unless we do some sort of secret election. Yes. My point exactly. We have to recover the primogen. They will all know about the fourth rule. Perhaps that is a... uh... They will have to choose their candidate. Some special circumstance or something. The entire fucking country is going to know. This is... We have a lie out there right now that Talbot's successor is ready to take over for him. Whoever is elected will be brought into this fold. They will be educated and then they will pretend to have been or Tilly will convince them that they have been his successor all along. And uh, who exactly votes as it were? That's going to depend on if this gets out. Typically, it would only be us primogen. How much... How many nights have you bought us? Right now? Maybe a week. So assuming this is the plan, we then have to find the remaining primogen to elect. And then shove the poor bastard in front of God and everyone and just say, Get it? It's the successor. I didn't write this document, so your attitude is ill-placed, Thomasina. An order of- I am the 11th Amendment. Everything that comes before the number 11, I had nothing to do with. But as far as the plan goes, there's no I'm other way. I'm doing my part. You are. You all do yours. Is th- If there's an order of operations snag... In which Talbot has to be proven dead before we can find the primogen. How does that play out? You better find the primogen fast. Great. We can't we can't do the second part until until all the primogen are found anyway. That was the agreement. And then when we find them all, we can figure out exactly how an, a Camarilla election is supposed to work. So good job on the leave of absence. Mm. <laughs> Gonna need you every step of the way. Uh, I'm glad that uh, school is out for me right now, because all I had to do was talk to a bunch of teachers and blah, 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 lots of other things that I needed to do. Elijah, we will take care of this. Mm. As long as you continue to spin whatever web you can... And keep the child or safe. I'm doing what I can. Anyone that you guys recover, bring them here first. So I can bring them up to speed on our plan from my side. And we'll figure out what the fuck we're going to do. 
Do you need help teaching? I have some people. No, I've got that covered. Okay. We have to place our attentions on something more pressing, which brings me to, Elijah, you've been a very kind host. We really should get back to the very important task at hand. Yes. Yes. I think you all need to, and please understand, you never saw this document. I wish I hadn't, to some degree. It would be a lot less confusing. You really wish you hadn't? Oh, Christ, and I am thrilled that I see it. In fact, I wish I had a copy of it for myself, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around how... this exists <laughs> and is supposed to exist functionally with the rest of the world without them ousting us as anarchs or going to war with us. But because I suppose we'll figure that point, out. At one point, Talbot Rourke was an honorable man who bled for this city and did everything he could to establish it. Rule number one, and he pulls the document back up, rule number one is for the both of you. That was his first rule, was to give the Bruja and the Gangrel a home. That is who Talbot Rourke was. That is why this document existed and why we thought it could work. Whatever the fuck has happened in the last, I don't know, however long, it throws all of this out the window. And I imagine none of you are expecting to have to hold an election anytime soon. No. We were pretty much betting on a good solid 50 years before we even had to consider it. Fair. I'm going to very nicely, I'm going to go and extend my hand to him for a shake. And I will hold hand. his hand very genderly and tell him, I'm sorry for what you're going through. We are doing our best. We will let you know what's happening as it's happening. No, it's Please just find my mother. We will. And I'm going to not so kindly gesture to the rest of my coterie for us to exit. But this is a very sensitive question, Elijah. But does your mother have weaknesses we should avoid if things get messy? What do you mean? If we have to force our way into wherever she is being kept and things get violent, what should we avoid other than fire? Nothing. Great. I'm going to usher him out the door with everybody else like a cheap dog trying to get everybody out the door. I'd like to talk with you more about this at some point and uh, you as well. We'll find them. Please see that you do. You I'll go tend to the new young man. Wonderful. I'd like to uh, speak with him at some point when we're through with this. In the meantime, it'll be like old times. We'll go on out. Okay. And that is where we are going to leave off for this week. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you on Saturday for more Bloodlines, and we will see you back here on Tuesday for Chapter 3. See you guys then.